Hey, Alicia, did you hear about James? What about him? I heard that he got grounded for drinking at the senior formal. John, I know James, and he wouldn't drink. Plus, I saw him at the movies yesterday, so I know he wasn't grounded. Are you spreading rumors? Well, I don't think so. You know, like, everyone was talking about it. I, I thought it was true. Still, John, you can really hurt someone by spreading rumors and gossip, even if it is true. Yeah, you know, I guess you're right. We shouldn't always believe everything that we hear about our friends. As Christians, it is our job to protect the dignity of all human beings. You know, that's right, Alicia. Even those people who we don't like, it's part of Jesus' call to us to love as he first loved us, even our enemies. And besides all of the moral reasons not to do it, there's always the fact that it can someday come back and bite you in the patootie. In the patootie? Yeah, the patootie. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan. And I'm Alicia. And, and this, this is, is Real Faith, Faith TV. TV. Today on Real Faith TV, we will be discussing rumors and why it is wrong to spread them. And why it is in conflict with our beliefs and values as Christians. We will meet Meredith, who tells us how jealousy led her to start and spread a rumor about a good friend and how this devastated their relationship. She also tells us how she made amends through prayer and reconciliation. And of course, we will talk with our studio guests and get their views and experiences with rumors. But first, let's hear if some of the teens we talked to on the street have ever had rumors told about them. One of my best friends spread a rumor about me. So that was a big problem. Yeah, I confronted him about it. After that, we weren't friends no more. You say stuff, like, just because people are saying it, and it just gets, like, it's like normal conversation after a while, and then the person confronts you, and it's like, whoops. <laughs> Uh, I was talking about one of my best friends and she was standing right behind me and when I looked back she was like right there and I was like so embarrassed my face turned red and like we got into a big argument and she didn't want to be friends anymore. Do you agree with her decision? Yeah. Yeah, lots of rumors have been spread about me. <laughs> uh, nothing that great. They're all rumors. Nothing's true. I remember this one time. It was like a really long time ago. I was just kind of upset, like depressed, and some someone kind of spread this rumor about that, but it wasn't a big deal, so. Well, yeah, there's been a lot of rumors about me, and I just, like, you know, I just laughed it off, you know, I just said it wasn't true. The latest one was where I was just actually, I had a girlfriend I was actually in love with, and um, one of her friends, who I barely knew the girl, she went around and told her that uh, me and her was supposed to have sex or something, can I say that? Me and her was supposed to have sex or something, and uh, kind of bugged me out I was mad for a little bit and um, me and my girlfriend was talking about it but uh, it just made the situation worse. Hey, yes I've had a rumor spread about me but it's kind of a bad rumor like nasty so yeah I'm not gonna talk about it. Uh, just stupid stuff like oh Kate stuffs her bra or something really stupid and uh, I honestly did not care about it I just kind of laughed at everybody laughing at me. Um, I'm sure there was rumors about me. I don't know of like one certain one, but I really don't care what people think about me as long as I'm happy with myself. That's all I need. Well, it sounds like most of the teens have been affected by rumors in one way or another, huh? Let's find out what kind of experiences our studio guests have had with rumors. Good idea. Let's meet our guests. Christina, Vanessa, Ross, Sarah, Anna, and Martin. So what kind of experiences have you guys had with rumors? I think in high school everybody has experiences with rumors, whether you're at the butt of the rumor or whether you started it. But I've, I know being in high school and like being running for student council and being involved in a lot of clubs, people have always, I mean, I've, people have always said things about me, stuff that I've apparently done or stuff that I've like, you know, like that I got drunk or that I had sex when I didn't. And I think they do it just because it makes them feel better. Yeah. Yeah, they, sometimes they degrade you to make themselves look better so they can, you know, tr try to act popular or whatever. Yeah, when I first moved to the town that I live in now, um, I was really quiet and everybody thought that I thought that I was too good for them. So then they started spreading all these rumors about me and then I finally said, you can't, how can you spread rumors about me when you don't even know me? So then everybody knew, knew they were lying and then they looked like the idiots and it played back on them so it went back to haunt them. Yeah, that's a really good way to deal with a rumor. Did you guys ever have experiences where you had a rumor told about you? You had a different way of dealing with it? Yeah, I just basically ignore rumors and you know eventually they go away. People, you know, it gets boring, you know, the same piece of information doesn't go on for days. Yeah, and sometimes if you play along with it they're like, oh, okay, then it's not a big deal anymore, I guess. Vanessa, you have anything? Sure. Yeah, I was gonna say that I have um, like a few years ago, it was a stupid rumor told in the beginning of the year 
that I had like cheated on like an art project. It was really stupid. <laughs> and um, like the whole year, everyone in the class was like against me. And it was actually my best friend that had told the rumor. And I just figured that I tried to explain myself. And if they're not listening to me, then obviously they're not my real friends. So. I was just kind of fine with it after a little while. Yeah, you know, just try to laugh it off. Laughing it off is the best way to deal with, you know, most situations. Laugh it off, play it off as a joke. Everybody will get bored of it eventually, and they won't talk about it anymore. Yeah. It's not easy to laugh it off, well, though. Well, it's well, not like, easy, yeah. but... <laughs> Don't let it bother you. See, like, like Vanessa's rumor. It's a stupid, funny rumor. Oh, she cheated on an art, an art project. No, you, know, you just <laughs> laugh it off, and it'll go away. It's not going to bother <laughs> yeah. you, you know? Yeah, sometimes the rumors are so serious, though, because when you tell a rumor, you tell something really exciting and really shocking. Like, I wouldn't say to one of you guys, you know, I saw Vanessa at the movies the other day. You'd all be like, oh, okay. i tell you something really interesting, and you'd be like, oh, wow, that's really good. Tell me some more. Tell me, you know, other things. And I'd be like, oh, now I have this great information. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to be the most popular person, life of the party, with this great story. And then you're going to go and run and tell your friends, because now you have this great information. And, you know, if you use, you know, a subject that's so serious like that and not true, then I could, you know, do something to ruin her life or, or make her feel so bad. And it's so hard to deal with that. So, you know, sometimes it's easier to turn to your faith to help you to deal when, you know, a lot of people believe some kind of rumor about you and you kind of feel like you're by yourself because you know that, you know, it's not true, but other people believe it. What I want to know is, do you think that our faith te teaches us anything about gossip and rumors? Let's go to our Man on the Street segment and see what some of the teens we interviewed thought about this. Most of the rumors out there are meant to hurt people. Yeah, most rumors, all they are are just lies about someone and like the only, like the, really the person that starts is really like jealous of the person. No, I think it could really hurt someone. Like, if it gets, if a couple people start hearing it, it's going to get bigger and then everyone thinks this horrible thing about you. And First, when the person finds out, they like feel so terrible and feel all embarrassed and everything. Do you, uh, do you think that like being Christians, that spreading a rumor is, you know, is it okay or is it wrong? Is it a sin? I don't believe it's okay. I think it is wrong. Unless if it's the truth, then that's a different story. But if it's made up, it shouldn't be spread at all. Lying. That's it's rumor is mainly when it's not true. And even if it was true, it's gossip, and that's a sin also. In my in my view. In the Bible, it says no gossiping, right? I guess it depends on your religion. I don't know. Well, not really a sin, but I think, you know, it's, it's the wrong thing to do. You know, some people take it to heart and others just take it as a joke. Yeah, I think uh, God sets an example for us in the Bible. Like, this is the perfect example. Like, this is how I lived. And, like, you just have to ask yourself, like, what would he do in this situation? You know, I think that one girl is right who said that the Bible says telling rumors is wrong. I don't know if the exact words are gossiping, though. Well, Jonathan, in the book of Proverbs, it says that he who covers up a misdeed fosters friendship, but he who gossips separates friends. And it also says that he who guards his mouth and his tongue keeps himself from trouble. What do you guys think about this? Do you think that spreading rumors is wrong or even a sin? I think it's wrong, but I wouldn't say it was a sin necessarily. I mean... I mean, thou shalt not lie was a commandment, but a rumor, I think it's petty. I don't think it's a sin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hard to know whether a rumor is um, true or not. And then when you're in the middle of the rumor mill and somebody comes up to you with you, this great story, you don't know if you should you know, tell someone else, or maybe check it out. Mm -hmm. so. Well, your natural instinct is to tell somebody else because you want to have that moment of popularity. You want to have that you know, shining moment where everybody's coming to you looking for information. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you think Jesus would have done, though, if he was, you know, hanging around and one of the apostles ran up to him and said, hey, guess what, uh, blah, blah, blah happened with this guy. Do you think he'd go and tell someone? Or do you think, you know, if it was something hurtful, he'd keep it to himself? He'd or probably, even maybe check it out with that person? He'd probably try to stop it and tell him it probably isn't right. So he'd probably not spread it and tell the guy to stop talking about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it also probably helps not only to, like, not tell it to someone else, but to say to the person that told you, like, oh, I don't think that's true or something, because maybe they won't tell anyone else, you know, so that'll help to stop it. Yeah. Stick up for them. I think that uh, any rumor that you spread, even if it's true, if you tell somebody something, I think that if it hurts the other person, it's a sin. You know, hurting anybody's a sin, and especially hurting someone without even them knowing it, you know, telling somebody behind their back. You know how things spread, you know. It could start off like, yeah, uh, Marcy likes a guy and soon to be Marcy is uh, going out with the guy, you know, and that hurts people. Yeah. And even though it might start off small, 
it's going to end up hurting somebody, and it's going to mm -hmm. be big sin, I think. And it'll always change. It'll always go one step more. It always gets a little more exciting with each story you tell. Like yeah. Yeah. Somebody says, I already heard that, and then you add something on because, you know, everybody's you already stupid. heard. Yeah. Yeah. You sound stupid. Oh, <laughs> I already knew that. And you make Oh, well, guess what? This also happened. Oh, right. really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you're you're the juicy person at the party. Everybody wants to talk to you because you have this information. But if you're really just making it up, a good person wouldn't, you know, try to hurt someone else to make themselves look better or make themselves seem cool. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been caught in the trap of telling a rumor? Meredith did. Let's hear her story now. I have actually told a rumor about one of my good friends. Um, it started in eighth grade last year, and um, I was friends with this girl since fourth grade. And I was always so jealous of her because she, I thought she was gorgeous and she had so many friends and she got so much attention, she got good grades, she got a lot of attention from the boys. And I told a couple of my friends at a party I had that she, since she had never kissed a boy before, she practiced with her mom. And my friends thought it was hysterical and the, the whole party thought it was hysterical. It spread through the whole party and everyone was laughing, joking around. Thought it was really funny, and it made me feel really good because, you know, like I was the life of the party now, and I had this really funny joke. And what I didn't realize was that it was like the worst thing I had ever said about anyone. I had no idea that it was going to spread so fast. Um, a couple days later, we went back into school. My whole grade knew. But the worst part was my friend didn't know. So it was all behind her back. And I mean, I can't even imagine what she felt like. It, it just m must have been like horrible because it must have hurt her so bad when she found out, like just someone stabbed her in the back because just having her best friend go off and talk about her like that. That really took a lot of courage to tell that story. Sounds like Meredith really learned from her mistake, though. Yeah, and we'll go back to her story in a few minutes. First, I want to know if any of you guys have been in a situation where you told a rumor about someone or even just retold a story about someone. I think almost everybody has retold the rumor, even not knowing it was a rumor, just heard a story, said, oh, that's a good story. Went to a, you know, a friend or somebody sitting next to you and said, oh, guess such and such just told me this. And yeah. You know, that's how things get started, and they keep snowballing and bigger and bigger. Yeah, it's kind of tempting, you know, you hear a good story, let's make it even better, you know? Yeah, but at the same time, even if someone's, like, I know that if you're sitting at lunch and someone's talking about somebody else, and you don't say anything to stick up for them, that's as bad as saying something about them, because that's happened to me where people haven't stuck up for me. And if someone's talking about someone who isn't there to stick up for themselves, and you don't stick up for them either, it's just as bad. I mean, it can be just as hurtful. Yeah. yeah, it hurts so much when, you know, you hear that you've been butt of a rumor or that maybe one of your good friends has been saying something about you, but it's very easy for the tables to turn also. So if you're the one that's spreading the rumors, it's very easy for it to come back and bite you in the patootie because <laughs> it's, you know, another person might be motivated to do the same thing to get the same attention you did by doing that. Yeah, and rumors. If you go start spreading them, then they break your trust, and trust is a beautiful thing, and you don't want to lose it. And then nobody will trust you, and eventually you lose your friends. Plus, if you're always the gossiper, no one's going to believe you because it's like the boy who cried wolf. Your integrity is questioned. No one knows if you're talk if you're just going to leave and talk about them as soon as you're. You know what I mean? Like if you're talk if I'm talking to you, you don't know if I'm going to turn around and go tell Martin. You know what you were just talking about because if I'm always gossiping, then you don't know who to trust. That's yeah. so true. I agree. I mean, a lot of respect is lost. Mm -hmm. We all make mistakes. What is important is that we make amends and reconcile with those we have hurt. And that's just what Meredith did. It wasn't easy, but with prayer and support from her family, she made it through. Let's hear the rest of her story now. She eventually found out from some of my other friends who went and told her. And I I was like devastated when she found out and she got so mad at me. She wouldn't talk to me. We cried every day at recess. I felt like there was no way that it would ever be resolved because it was just like 
the worst thing I'd ever done. As hard as I tried, as much as I apologized, um, as much as I told my friends that it wasn't true and told everyone, and nothing seemed to work. So many people knew about it, and it was like, I had no idea how I was supposed to control it. Plus, my friends were turning their backs on me, and they were becoming friends, or they were taking the side with my other friends that I told the rumor about. So basically, I had no one who was there to support me besides my mom, my dad who, was telling, who were telling me, and my brother who were telling me that you can go and you can, you can make this right if you try, and God. And I prayed every night and I asked the Holy Spirit for guidance. We discussed it. We talked it over and over and over again, and finally she gave in, she forgave me. Sometimes I talk to her and she, we would talk about what happened, and um, we just kind of laugh over it. But she's still, she's still really hurt by it. I don't really know if it gained back 100% of the friendship that we had, and I don't think she gained back all the trust that we had, but we still were friends again, and um, it turned out to be okay in the end. I've learned to just not lie and talk about people, um, and just be a better person um, altogether. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Um, love others, respect others. Um, Follow what God teaches and what Jesus taught just to be kind to people and to love them and respect them. Well, I think we can learn a lot from Meredith's story about gossip and rumors. Yeah, you know, everyone is a victim of gossip, whether you are the recipient, the bearer, or the one who the story is about. It's not a far jump to consider the feelings you experienced in the situation and apply them to others when the situation arises again. What have you guys learned, or what advice do you have regarding rumors and gossip? Don't start them. <laughs> you don't